Hello and welcome to our video summarizing all you need to know about William Shakespeare's Measure for Measure. And in this video, we'll be looking at all you need to know about the play's plot, as well as its key characters, themes and symbols. And this video is really essential, particularly if you're studying this as part of your coursework or GCSEs. In terms of context, so this is one of Shakespeare's comedies and that means it has a happy ending. This is one of those plays that's up for debate, however, because whilst it's classified as a comedy, it is dark enough that many argue that it's almost a tragedy or something out of normal genre entirely. So as a result, many people see this as one of his problem plays, like All's Well That Ends Well. And these plays are known very much for their complex and ambiguous tones. When it comes to the play itself in terms of its summary, it opens when we learn that Claudio is arrested by Lord Angelo, the leader of Vienna. Angelo was left temporarily in charge while the Duke snuck away, and the Duke disguises himself to see what happens in his absence. Angelo rids the city of brothels and other lustful acts, and Claudio is arrested for impregnating Juliet before they married. So Claudio is sentenced to death as an example for other citizens. His sister Isabella is about to become a nun when she hears he is arrested and she begs Angelo for mercy. He tells her that he may reconsider if she sleeps with him. However, she refuses and leaves to contemplate on this matter. The Duke, who's first disguised as a friar, tells her that Angelo's former love, Mariana, was due to be married to him, but he abandoned her when he, she lost her, da her dowry in a shipwreck. And the friar proposes that Isabella agree to sleep with him, but they will switch her with Mariana. Angelo would then be forced to marry Mariana by law. Angelo does not free Claudio as he promised, and the Duke then sends Angelo the head of a dead pirate, claiming it is Claudio's. He thinks Claudio has been executed. Also, the Duke returns dressed as himself, and Isabella tells him what happened, and he reveals his disguise, and Angelo confesses, and Claudio is released, and Isabella agrees to marry the Duke. Now, when it comes to the key characters, the first is Isabella, who's the protagonist, and we learn that she's a good and chaste woman, forced to make a really difficult decision for her brother. However, we're really happy at the end because she ends up victorious for our loyalty to her brother. The other key character is the Duke, and he's a good and virtuous man. He knows he's not as harsh as he should be as a ruler, which is why he puts Angelo in charge for some time. The other key character is Claudio, and we learn that he's a very young and rash man who breaks the law by sleeping with his lover, and he depends on his sister and her guidance to save them. Lord Angelo is another key character, and he's the villain. He has no mercy and interprets the laws really strictly. However, on the other hand, he's a hypocrite, executing people for crimes that he himself will gladly commit. In terms of things to be aware of, the first is justice and mercy. So the Duke is a merciful leader whilst Angelo is a just one. Angelo may seem evil, but really he's only enforcing laws that already exist. And this makes, use, this makes us even question if justice is really an ideal, as in some cases perhaps mercy is a better option than being just. Hypocrisy is another key theme, so we learn that Angelo is a really hypocritical character as he executes people for doing things that he himself would do. And some critics think that this is a real criticism of Puritan and strict church laws at the time. So many church leaders within the Puritanical faith did not really follow the strict rules that they themselves enforced. In terms of analysis... One of the main symbols to be aware of is coins. So money and coins are compared to a lot of things in this play. First, Angela compares having a baby out of wedlock to making counterfeit coins. And this makes having an illegitimate child compared to a crime, which it was back then. So that's all. If you enjoyed this, do give us a thumbs up and do check us out for more revision videos and worksheets. Thank you so much for listening.